You can't fuck with me, bitch. You can't fuck with me. You can't fuck with me, bitch. You can't fuck with me. Battlefield, that's your only guy company. I'm about to show you type of shit that's only come from me. Hey guys, um, Black Enigma here. And I ain't starting off the whole thing with um, but this is like really awkward for me to actually speak upon. Um, and there I go again. I'm sorry, y'all. This unedited. Y'all getting the real me. Y'all always get. Y'all always got the real me. Regardless, my footage was rarely edited unless I was actually doing commentary over like Dragon Ball scenes or. You know, just anything of that nature, anything else like my speeches on like the different characters and the real talks, the real talks in general, the um, commentary on episodes without the actual, you know, my voice over like different scenes in the anime. And that was all me unedited. I put my hand on whatever Bible that y'all worship. Whatever religion that y'all down with, even if y'all don't believe in nothing, I put my stake down on that. You know, um, you know, this is gonna be a very different real talk. This is basically gonna be about me explaining why I haven't been uploading as much and why I haven't really been in the live streams as much. And I love live streaming. Critical Anime Dark, he's one of my favorite Dragon Ball YouTubers. You know, Ars Infinity, he's one of my favorite Dragon Ball YouTubers. GK Reviews, he's one of my favorite Dragon Ball YouTubers. Everybody in the Critical, you know, Anime Dark's Discord, you know, I enjoy talking to them. But over like these past, you know, couple weeks, I have been going through a lot of my personal life, you know, People close to me have been sick to the point where they be in the hospital. So I've been tending to them. And on top of that, like I had deadlines that I had to meet with, with this music thing. I know a lot of y'all don't care about hip hop and all that. But it's more than just, you know, speaking ratchet or anything like that. You know, let me walk y'all through this, man. You know, gaming was my very first love. You know, my, my grandparents, because I was basically raised by my grandparents. I'm exposed myself. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I really don't give a fuck, nigga. You know, my mom, she was always in my life. But at the time, you know, guardianship was to my motherfucking grandparents. And I love them to death for that. You know, so it is what it is. But, you know. My grandfather, he got me a, a Sega Genesis and a Nintendo, you know, at the age of three. He taught me how to read before I even went to preschool, nigga. I'm very motherfucking intelligent. I was like top of my class through grade school. Let me tell you this. In third grade, I swear to God, nigga, I swear on whatever God y'all worship, whether it's, you know, the creator of all things or the devil himself. Or nothing at all. Whatever you choose. <laughs> I swear in the third grade. They wanted me to skip. They wanted to skip me to the sixth grade. Because. They took like a little aptitude test. And like my intelligence at that age. Was a sixth grade level. I could have been in sixth grade right then. But that's besides the point man. That's why I, I'm just saying that. Because that's exactly why I could actually play games. At that younger age. Because I was truly advanced. From my age. I could read the little text on Nintendo. In Sega Genesis. And understand what the instructions were telling me. And press the buttons accordingly at that age. I could tell. A motherfucker. So. Gaming just happened to be my first love. And then when I learned how to like write my thoughts on paper, writing became my second love. Nigga, I ain't never failed an English class except for when I was a class clown in high school because I was a class clown. If y'all can't tell how I talk, I was a motherfucking class clown. You know what I'm saying? I didn't give a fuck, nigga. I got a whole bunch of bitches all through high school. Acne and hard. Acne and all, motherfucker. So my face had broke out. 
but I made fun. I I made made up for that shit by being funny, by being charismatic. I know that might be unrealistic to y'all, cause y'all had acne or whatever. But shit, nigga, I know I got a whole bunch of pussy. I ain't gotta prove shit to nobody, nigga. I can show y'all pictures of my motherfucking exes. Y'all not gonna believe me, cause it's all about internet shit. So guess what, nigga? I lose, nigga. But I still got a picture of one of my most recent exes, nigga. And I bet you, even though she, even though we fell out, I bet you she killing every last motherfucking female that you ever been with, nigga. So, because I was a class clown, I got kicked out of like that English class. So I ended up getting a D in it. But every other English class before that, I got A's, B's, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? When I went to college or whatever for a brief amount of time they took like a little a little assessment test to see if I could you know go past the entry level English nigga I got over 90% they insisted I went to advanced English so I've always been good at like English and writing short stories papers all that shit I've been good at that shit always been good at that shit So then, you know, because I was so passionate at that, it turned into poetry. And let me tell y'all how I wrote my first little poetry over um, a beat or whatever. And I'm going to be real with y'all. The first poetry I I wrote over a beat was to that Bow Wow, Let Me Hold You. Now, let me finish before y'all click off of this because y'all like, (laughs) nigga, Bow Wow, are you for real? Yeah, I'm dead ass. And the reason why is because back in 05, Bow Wow was hot, nigga. 2005, nigga. Over 10 years ago, that nigga was hot. He was still dropping hits and shit. The Let Me Hold You song was popping all the way through my motherfucking high school. Motherfucking females were playing that shit. Doing a little arm motions. But that's besides the point. I fucked around and wrote something to it. You know why I wrote to it? Because there was a fine ass broad in one of my classes. I was shy at the time. But that's besides the point. So basically that's how like I got involved with like writing. And then you know listening to 50 Cent. And I started writing raps. And then in the cafeteria I started writing. Um, well not writing. We started like freestyling. Like around like you know the cafeteria tables and all that. And it wasn't like no you know. 32 bar you going off the head type. Nah it was literally like we Everybody spit four bars and we go around In the circle it was probably like eight of us So we had plenty of time To think you know to think of something And to this day I really can't fucking freestyle I'm a writer to the art You know what I'm saying I've been trying to like learn how to freestyle I can a little bit But that shit whack nigga <laughs> It don't sound shit like how I sound on record For real But you know, basically, you know, what I'm trying to say is, like, after I became infatuated with writing, that's when anime came. Anime came in my preteens. I first saw Dragon Ball when I was probably, like, I don't know, like, 10 or 11, somewhere around now. Maybe 9. 9 at the earliest. I know I wouldn't know sooner than that. But it was on, like, a late night special. And I remember the very first episode I saw was Nappa. Hitting Tien Shin Han's arm completely off. And right then I was hooked on anime. I was hooked. I didn't know I was. But I was hooked. I started tuning in and shit. And I started just watching this shit. And to this day man. Because of nostalgia. I don't know if it's because of nostalgia. But I really do feel like every time. That I watch like the orange box sex. I got. People don't realize. Just because I said I watched Kai. That's not the only scene. That's not the only shit that I saw. I had an orange box set. I have everything fucking Dragon Ball, like, on DVD, you know what I'm saying, like, and Blu-ray, you know what I'm saying, like, I don't have the, you know, the original series on Blu-ray, but I have Kai on Blu-ray, which I don't like as much as the original series, because I don't like the music, you know what I'm saying, if I want to watch the Japanese shit, you know, I'll do that for that music, but they should have put the Bruce for corner, I always butcher that man, hey, forgive me, forgive me. But they should have put his music in there. But yeah, man, I'm, a, I'm. That's when I became like a fan, like anime. So let me walk out through this. First is gaming. Second is writing, and third is anime. 
All of those came in my childhood. My anime is dead last in my heart. Does that mean that I want to stop doing anime related content? No, not at all. But what I have to say is the reason why I made a new channel is because these fanboys have been flagging this channel. And now I got two, you know, um, little strikes on this channel. So I made a lot of my videos. Well, I basically took my videos down. <clears throat> I might have to edit that out. I basically took a couple of my videos down or whatever. And um, I still had the files on my computer. So if you go through, you know, my videos and you like the real talk on Goku or a certain episode review that I did. Because I started doing episode reviews around episode like 114-ish. Oh, I did every episode since then. So, like, if you want to actually see my review of a, of a certain episode, you know, drop, you know, a comment in your email. You know what I'm saying? And then specify the episode that you want to see. The only episode I don't have anymore like that is episode 115. That's because I accidentally deleted the final draft, but I still have, like, the rough draft of it. So, I still have the animated cutscenes and shit that I did. So it's not an all loss. It's just like when I got to my commentary, it's like a blank screen. And I don't remember what I put down, to be honest with y'all. But yeah, like I look out for y'all, man. I fuck with y'all. I fuck with the League of Darkness. I fuck with everybody. It's just like I go into like a mode where if I'm feeling like really down and depressed, I don't want to make anybody else feel like that because it's hard for me to hide it. So I stay to my motherfucking self. Only went to work, only, you know, wrote, started, I already don't record it in music, I just gotta put it out, you know what I'm saying, I gotta do lyric videos and all that shit, then I gotta, you know, work on promotion, then I gotta, like, plan, you know, not touring, but actually, like, performing, like, when they doing open mics and shit, to get my shit out there, cause the motherfuckers been saying I'm dope, motherfuckers been saying I'm dope, like, dead ass. Motherfuckers just told me today that they that they think I'm gonna be famous, like dead ass. So yeah, man, I just wanna like explain to y'all because you know I don't wanna leave y'all hanging, but that's why I haven't uploaded. You know, like I said, I have because this channel was in danger, and I was like really trying to figure out an alternative, and the only alternative I can think of is making a new channel. So the link will be in the description, and I'm gonna actually drop it in the comment. All you have to do is click and just subscribe. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. You ain't got to do nothing fancy. You have to type in the name in the search box. You know what I'm saying? Arts Infinity, Critical Anime Dark. I don't know if y'all still fuck with my videos or not. I don't know if y'all motherfuckers mad because I ain't been live streaming with y'all. But either way, it's all motherfucking love. I ain't sensitive with that shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not saying y'all is. But I'm just saying anything can be talked out. Hopefully, like, when y'all hear this video, y'all understand where the fuck I'm coming from. But, it ain't no love lost from nobody. It's just, like, I have to really explain to my, to my subscribers what's going on. But I ain't gonna dwell too much longer and all that, man. I ain't gonna dwell. You know, Black Enigma out. Or Dark Enigma out. <laughs>